We do have some idea what might have triggered this. Um, the neighbouring volcano called Urtale is uh, persistently active. It has a lava lake at the surface and it last erupted in July. Um, and at that time, we saw that there was magma moving underground that went actually beneath Haile Gubi and actually con continued further south. So we think this eruption um, at Urtale, the magma intrusion underground associated with that is what's triggered this eruption at Haile Gubi now. In terms of human health, the main concern is um, the, the ash, which is a problem for aviation, but it's also a problem uh, for people in the area. Um, and there are advisories out for them to wear uh, face masks and things like this. So the main thing we can do is to can keep monitoring. Um, and there's various ways we do that. So we can use the same satellites that are picking up the, the SO2, um, the sulfur dioxide. Um, they've actually been showing us that there's been low level emissions over the last few months. So we can keep tracking that. We have other satellite systems using radar that allow us to see how the ground is moving, and that allows us to see if um, magma is moving underground, where it's moving underground. And we can also use um, optical images to, uh, to track what kind of signs of changes we see um, at the surface of the volcano.